today we're heading back to New England. Maybe some beaches, some sailing. All right, not really. <laughs> Disney's version of New England. We're gonna go to the Yacht Club. Let's go sailing. Welcome back. Today we are at the Ale and Compass Lounge at the Disney Yacht Club Resort. Small lounge just off the lobby. It almost feels like we're in the, like the, I don't know what the underneath of a ship is called. What's that The called? underneath of a ship. The bottom, like the bottom, below deck. Below deck of a ship. Of a yacht. That's <sighs> probably, oh yeah. That's probably what they were going for. If that's what they were going for, it works. Yacht Club Resort, opened November 1990. It's one of the Epcot area resorts. Is that what they're referred to? 1990. Wow. So there's the Yacht Club, Beach Club, and the Boardwalk all around Crescent Lake. There's, um, so there's just three resorts? Well, there's the Swan well, and Dolphin. Well, if you count the Swan and the Dolphin, because they're all walkable kind of around the loop. Right. right. Yes, yeah, you can walk the Boardwalk or whatever they call it that goes around the whole lake. Um, nautical themed, New England seaside, but yeah. basically sailing yachts based on New England yachts. So think um, boat shoes, khakis, and maybe a few Kennedys roaming vineyard around. Vineyard vines. Yeah. Vineyard, vineyard. They should have a, I bet you they do have vineyard I vines in do. the store. We'll, we'll have to we'll look check and see. that out. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. Ale and Compass Lounge, which is the small lounge right here off the lobby, but there's also the Ale and Compass Restaurant which is next door, which was the Captain's Grill, I think. And in 2017, they renovated that restaurant. Sounds familiar. And I think they made this lounge bigger, maybe, or they at least renovated the lounge. But it is just small, off the lobby. Mm -hmm. And as you said, maybe it's supposed to be themed the inside of a yacht. That's what it feels like. Time for drinks. Yes, my favorite part. My favorite part. Where'd you go with? Well, since we're New England themed, I had to go with just a Sam Adams. Boston, Boston Lager. Boston Lager from Boston Beer Company. Mm -hmm. What did you go with? Maple Old Fashioned. Who is that? Is that New England? Maple Old Fashioned? I mean maple maple syrup, Vermont. I don't know. Cheers. A few specialty drinks on the menu. They had a pretty good selection of beer. But I think they have a pretty substantial wine collection here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looked that um, way. Ranging all the way from I think like a $39 bottle of Pinot all the way up to a 90 something dollar of champagne. So I guess if you're a wine drinker, I guess they drink a lot of wine and champagne on yachts, right? Yeah, it makes sense, it right? Makes perfect sense. Sounds right to me. So yacht club and beach club I guess referred to as like sister resorts, mm -hmm. where they say yacht club, kind of elegant, versus the laid back style of the beach club. Both, both again, New England themed uh, beach seaside resort for the beach club. Again, yacht sailing theme for the yacht club. They share the same amenities though. I think that Storma, the pool, Storm along Bay. Storm along Bay, which is almost like a water park, right? It's, it's like a sand bottom sand bottom pool. pool. Right? I think there's a lazy river. It's a pretty yeah. big water park, so they share that. That's the only one they have. And actually, I think there's a convention center here as well that may be attached to the beach club, but maybe it's maybe it's used by both resorts. But there's a little bit of a convention center here. Well, there's too. definitely one over at the boardwalk. And there's one at the boardwalk as mm -hmm. well. Uh, we've moved up to what I guess is maybe this is the captain's quarters. Maybe um, it the, feels the, like an office. The captain's desk. So we've moved up to it. It's like the second level up off from the lobby. A little change of scenery. It's kind of a fun little place. Yeah, it's actually a Dutch word. Yacht. Spelled, it's pronounced the same, but it's spelled with a J and a G instead of a Y and a C. And it translates to hunter, I think, because the Navy used fast sailing vessels to chase pirates. What? So that's where the term came from. But the yacht, the, the term yacht means any fast sailing ship used for cruising, racing, or I guess just pleasure sailing. Or drinking cocktails. Or drinking cocktails. Mm -hmm. Seems appropriate. Have you been to the Yacht Club or the Beach Club? Let us know. <laughs> so what do you think, Yacht Club? We haven't stayed here. We've stayed, like I said, at the Beach Club. 
definitely feels like New England. It does. Yes, which um, I enjoy because we're not, we, not that we spent a whole lot of time at Cape Cod when we lived in Massachusetts. No, but we had a but friend. It does we feel had a like friend that. who had a boat. They lived, lived in Falmouth, and we used to go over to um, Oaks Oak Bluff Oak on Martha's mm -hmm. Vineyard for lunch sometimes. Yeah. So that was fun. But we've never owned a so boat. So it but definitely gives me that feeling. The best kind of boat is the, the boats your friends own. Other people own. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Other people's <laughs> boats are the best kind of boats. <laughs>